Chan Gailey is the third-year head coach for the Buffalo Bills. He's been a coach in pro football with Dallas as a head man and also in college football. And that's where Jim Harbaugh was plucked by this Niner organization out of Stanford. They made it all the way to the NFC Championship game a season ago, finishing 13-3. and We've had the flip of the coin. The Niners have won. And so Buffalo will be kicking off. And John Potter will be taking care of those chores. Kyle Williams is deep back for San Francisco. There is a breeze. It's in the back of Buffalo. The Bills and the Niners. And away we go from the Bay Area. Williams will bring it out. A block from Walker. It was slowed up by Justin Rogers and taken down. 17-yard return. Quarterback Alex Smith under his current coach Jim Harbaugh Solomon is 17-5 blossoming under the coach of the San Francisco 49ers. And that's because what the 49ers do is they want to play a physical style of play, beat you up with both their offense and defensive line. It makes it very easy for the skill positions to flourish, especially at the quarterback position. Brandon Jacobs, there was some thought that he may be a starter or at least play some today for San Francisco. That is not the case. He will be inactive. Hurt his knee in the middle of preseason. It is a first and ten. And Gore works his way to uh, for a gain of about five up to the 19-yard line on the play for San Francisco. Left guard Mike Upati was outstanding in his run and pass blocking last week against the Jets. And the tight end Vernon Davis has had an excellent season so far. His blocking in particular has improved as last week's tape showed against New York. Nine different players carry the ball in that game last week against the Jets using the Wildcat offense. Now they're going to spread it out and throw it a little bit. Second down and five. Davis with a block at the right tackle. That's brought in by Crabtree, who is hit by the linebacker, Calvin Shepard. That's a gain of three on the play. A lot of fans' immediate criticism so far for the new signee at the highly paid defensive end position, Mario Williams. Has a bad left wrist. That's been part of the problem. Linebacker Nick Barnett struggled last week, as did the entire defense. Missed tackles were a significant issue. And in the secondary, the Bills will start their number one draft choice, rookie Stephon Gilmore. It is third down and two. Smith. Davis hurtling for the first down. He's up to the 44, a catch and run of 21, a first down for San Francisco. Oh, Kevin, Vernon Davis was open from the word go. <laughs> Holding. Offense, number 77. 10-yard penalty. Replay, third down. We were just boasting on Mike Upati, and he picks up the penalty right there for the Niner offensive line. Takes back a huge play. The 49ers have been struggling to convert on third and one, third and two, where they rank near the bottom of the league and converting in those situations. And here, Alex Smith gets the completion for a first down. It, Really makes Jim Harbaugh upset. He said more than anything, they wanted to get off to a fast start. Quick passes, get the run game going, put points on the board early in this ball game. Next to receiver is Kyle Williams. Five in the secondary, third and 12. Smith. And grabbed on the play by Manningham. Over there, the coverage by Aaron Williams. It's a gain of 11, a yard shy. And on their first possession, San Francisco's got a punt. Well, first of all, you got to like the protection. Clean pocket for Alex Smith. Still able to drive the ball to the outside to Mario Manningham. And now they're, of course, in that fourth down situation, going to have to punt. Manningham didn't go beyond the first down marker. He cut it up short. Not enough for a first down. There's a look at Leotis McKelvin and one of the best punters in the NFL, Andy Lee. Pro Bowler and an All-Pro punter a season ago. is back to boot, being out for San Francisco. On the 20, McKelvin. Finds a seam. On the way, flag has been thrown. Foot race, he'll take it in, but let's see what the flag is all about. Back at the 48. He's already returned a punt for a touchdown this year against Kansas City. Jerome Boger being told the call on the flag on the return right now of 80 yards. Going to return, holding, receiving team, number 31. 
10 yard penalty from the foul to foul. Buffalo keeps the ball. First down. Sheriff Bird, number 31, guilty, they say. There it is. Right there, right in the middle of our screen, right here. And the officials caught it right there. See the jersey? He won't let go. And then the flag comes in, nullifying the return by McKelvin. Ryan Fitzpatrick will have his team and a couple of new starters on that offensive line today, including the blindside protector at the left tackle. Oh, this Buffalo Bills team come in, Kevin, averaging 28 points per game. And their quarterback, Fitzpatrick, is as good as any at getting the ball into the end zone. Well, he leads the NFL in touchdown passes. That's the good news. The bad news is he's tied for second in interceptions. And something he's got to do a better job today. If they're going to win on the road against one of the better defenses, he cannot turn the ball over. First and ten, Jackson. Up to about the 41-yard line, it's a gain of three. And on top of the pile, you see Justin Smith pulling himself off. We talked about the two new starters on the line. Colin Brown will start at right guard. And the blindside protector today, Chris Hairston. Out in his play, battling the two Smiths, Justin and Alden. The running backs, Jackson and Spiller, will have their fingerprints all over the game. Tight end Scott Chandler had a couple of touchdown receptions last week against the New England Patriots. It's second down and six. Fred Jackson, tied up behind the line. Nice grab right there by Ahmad Brooks and a loss of a yard. They'll put him back at the 41-yard line. Let's talk about that Niner defense. Welcoming back Zabuaga on that defensive line. He missed last week with an injury. Excellent linebackers. In fact, in a 34 defense, these are the two premier inside backers in the NFL. The five-time Pro Bowler Willis and the rising star Bowman. And the former Buffalo Bill number one pick, Dante Whitner. Took some shots at the Bills organization this past week. He's in the secondary now defending a third and seven. Now he's a good one. He'll hit you, and he'll make plays on the ball when Fitzpatrick goes over the middle. And to the side, over the head of Stevie Johnson across the way. It's incomplete, and it's three and out. And the coverage on the play by Carlos Rogers. Tight coverage, and remember, the Buffalo Bills are missing two starters up front on their offensive line and left tackle, Cordy Glenn. Craig Urbic at right guard. He's also out. And so what did Fitzpatrick tell us? He says, the two guys who are coming in as backup, I trust them, but if we have to go beyond that, I'm not so comfortable. Ryan Mormon released a couple weeks ago. The rookie free agent from Florida State, Sean Powell, against the Garrison Sanborn long snap. Ted Ginn Jr. That's this bounce inside the five and trickle into the end zone for a touchback and a punt of 59 yards. A second look at Alex Smith, the quarterback for the San Francisco 49ers. No score early in the Bay Area. Niner head coach Jim Harbaugh is the talk of the NFL. Oh, absolutely, and the players love playing for him. Even though he works them very hard, they enjoy the process. The tight ends, Kelsey's on the defensive line for Anderson. First and ten, second possession for San Francisco, and this is four. Big hole up the middle. Brought down in the secondary, grabbed by Gilmore. 19-yard burst, spot him at the 39. Well, they know how to attack a defense, and it's really about the power and strength of their running game. Now look at this hole right here. <laughs> you can hit that hole. It's just great blocking. Delaney Walker on the wraparound trap from the tight end position. 46. Look at that block at the second level. This is why this team went to Youngstown after losing to Minnesota before shutting out the Jets 34-0 on the road. They became closer as a team and more focused in what the goals they have set out in front of them. On first down and 10, Smith looking deep. Oh, and he's got Davis! Knocked out of bounds, Aaron Williams inside the 15, inside the 10, spot him at the 8, a 53-yard connection, first and goal, San Francisco. And he's going to be masked up against number 37, George Wilson. And here you see him, look, coming off the bottom of your screen right there, coming up off the wheel route. And this is just an easy throw, both the linebacker and safety allow Vernon Davis, who in my mind is the most potent weapon in terms of a receiver for the San Francisco 49ers, and you fall asleep on Vernon Davis. He leads 
the team with four touchdown receptions, and now he's looking for more. Well, had a couple blocks. Last year, Kaepernick is in as another receiver. This goes to Gore, who's down to the one. Dancing his way for seven is Frank Gore out of Miami. They bring in the backup quarterback, Colin Kaepernick, who is very much a part of the Wildcat offense and other trick plays or creative plays for San Francisco last week against the Jets. That time he's lined up at receiver, and they still go ahead and run the ball. And, you know, Jim Harbaugh, what he does, he keeps the defense off balance, keeps you guessing, but more than anything, he's pounding you with his strong physical offensive line. To go out through is the defensive lineman playing the fullback here, second and goal at the one. Go held and stopped from going in. Trying to follow the big defensive lineman down low. A lot of guys got a hand on him, bringing, uh, bringing third and goal now at the one for the San Francisco 49ers. Kevin, what did every player tell us about Jim Harbaugh and said that, hey, he keeps us focused. He focuses on the right things and that the easy way is not an option, <laughs> whether it's in practice and our approach to games. He helps these players to focus on what's required to win consistently, and that is doing things the hard way, putting in the hard work, and they've all bought into it. Kilgore and Gators have come in third and goal at the one. Four again, stop, big time stop in there. Kyle Williams got a hand on him. Two-time Pro Bowler right there. Boy, did San Francisco sing his praises this week, saying he was the key on the line, fourth and goal. Oh, remember, the Buffalo Bills have spent a lot of money up front on this defensive line. From Kyle Williams, former first-round pick Marcel Darius, Mario Williams, $100 million contract. They bring over Mark Anderson in free agency. This is where your defensive line has to win for you because against a 49ers offensive line, if you can turn them back, I think it bodes well for this football team. It helps to grow their confidence here on the road. Nick Barnett also got a good hand on him on that tackle. Nice play by Barnett coming off a subpar game last week. 19-yard field goal here from David Akers. Big plays on that drive, which started back at the Niner 20. A 19-yard run by Gore, but what set it up was a 53-yard strike to tight end Vernon Davis. Then the field goal, and the Niners have taken an early 3-0 lead here in San Francisco. The NFL on CBS is sponsored by Southwest Airlines. Find our fares online only at southwest.com. Verizon. Whatever you want to do, Droid does. And by Bud Light, the official beer sponsor of the NFL. Here we go. Part of Fleet Week is that big United 747 hovers over the bay. Boy, nice hold there by the defense of the Buffalo Bills. Good goal line stand limiting San Francisco to just a field goal. Now the ensuing kickoff by Akers. And deep back, they've got Smith and they've got McCalvin. And McCalvin will bring it out. Red an 80-yard punt return, blown back because of the hold, and there he bounces outside, and it's a foot race. He's being chased by Tremaine Brock, who brings him down from behind. The electrifying Leotis McKelvin, a 59-yard return. Special teams <laughs> really responded <laughs> here for the Buffalo Bills. Now watch him attack, but then he's going to bounce out and come around in the edge. You lose contain, you don't secure the tackle, and boy, he was able to run McKelvin down. Tremaine Brock turned on the Jets to go get McKelvin, saving a touchdown. But the defense of the Bills holding San Francisco out. That was a win for them, allowing three. It was a first and goal at the one for San Francisco. Now they've got it on the defensive end, and Buffalo will take over. First and ten, that's Jackson in motion out of the backfield from the San Francisco 44. C.D. Johnson on the side. He was working on Alden Smith. Gain of seven on the play. Oh, this is what the Bills want to do. They go spread, empty backfield set, which means the ball's got to come out quick from Ryan Fitzpatrick. They want to isolate and spread you out, get the ball to Stevie Johnson, get it to Scott Chandler, some of the playmakers in this offense. And, you know, Chan Gailey, in my mind, is one of the best at dialing up plays. Look, scored on four or six possessions starting in their own territory. Four touchdowns so far this season. And Smith in motion, as you see, they're in the pistol on second down and three. And Jackson. 
Little win inside. Justin Smith brings him down. Close to a first down as we take you to New York and James Brown. Indy trail 21-3 at the half, but Kevin and Solly, how about this? Here's Andrew Luck. He finds Reggie Wayne. That ball breaks the plane of the goal line. Touchdown. This is a two-point conversion. Donald Brown, he goes in. Mason Crosby misses a 51 field goal attempt. 30-27, upset of the day, Indianapolis over the Green Bay Packers. Winning it for Chuck Pagano, back to Kevin Harlan and Solomon Wilcox. Who announced this week, that's right, J.B., that he is going under uh, treatment for cancer, has leukemia, he'll be out the rest of the year. First down and 10 from the San Francisco 33, set up by a long McKelvin. Kickoff return, going deep and incomplete, looking for Stevie Johnson. And they were working... Down the side, Culliver was in. Also in the vicinity was Whitner, right there, the edge spill. Yeah, that's what they want to do. They want to try to isolate Stevie Johnson. Believe he can beat some of the best corners working against Culliver here. The ball overthrown by just a yard or two, and they missed on the golden opportunity. I thought Johnson had a step on Culliver there to right. be able to make the play. The protection held up. If the protection can hold up on quick throws, they've got Wildcat now with Brad Smith behind center for the Bills. In the nickel, San Francisco, second down and ten. Here is an end around, and it goes to Spiller, who is brought down. Reading it well is Navarro Bowman. It's a loss of five, and they'll put him back at about the 38. <laughs> Kevin, what does C.J. Spiller tell us? This will not be an east-west game, meaning you can't run to the sideline, and watch Bowman come shooting up from that linebacker position, cutting off the angles, won't let you outside containing the football if spiller is going to be successful running against this 49ers defense and many running backs are not you got to run downhill and press the line of scrimmage good point third down and 15 spiller is in that's caught by smith who's grabbed by the reigning nfc defensive player of the week that is patrick willis there is no gain it is fourth down Kevin, I want you to watch something. Every time one of these linebackers, Navarro Bowman, Patrick Willis, even in the secondary, when they come to tackle you, they wrap up and you are on the ground immediately. Look how they swarm to the ball and they get you on the ground with great velocity. No yards after contact, no yards after the catch. That's why they're one of the best defenses in the league. And to a man, all 11 are tackling in the very same fashion. Powell's going to punt again. So the Bills can't do anything with that 59-yard kickoff return by McKelvin. Waving it away is given out of bounds. It sails on the punt for the Buffalo Bills. So 428 to play in the first quarter. San Francisco getting up three zip. As we return, here are some of the top reasons for a turnaround in San Francisco. How about coaching? The Niners are 17 and 5 under Harbaugh since he took over. And they are a defensive heavyweight, Kevin, allowing just 15 points per game since Harbaugh has become their coach. And then they have a quarterback in Alex Smith who manages the game. 22 touchdowns, just six interceptions over the last two seasons. It's coaching, offense, and defense, what we call complementary football that creates a winning formula with the 49ers. We told you before, it is a 17-5 and record with Smith under Harbaugh. And in terms of winning percentage, Rodgers is number one, Schaub number two, and Smith in that time is number three in the NFL. From the 13 after the punt, first and 10 for Alex Smith. Good block by Boone. That's caught by Crabtree. Brought down in the play by the linebackers, Shepard, 19-yard gain up to the 32. Boy, they do a really good job of just clearing out and creating space underneath. And there, that's what they're able to do. And watch how they clear out. Here's the first receiver coming through, Manningham, and then see him coming back underneath. Now that's just an excellent play right there. It is set up by design, Greg Roman, the offense coordinator. And that's why you're seeing players like Michael Crabtree, their numbers beginning to improve. The passing game is beginning to improve overall. Gore is a receiver on the top of your screen. First down and 10. Staley the block at the left tackle. That play is blown dead. That's a false start by the San Francisco 49ers. Before the snap, false start. Offense, number 74. Five-yard penalty, still first down. And Smith extending the conversation what Harbaugh has done he's given him if nothing else just confidence in that he believes in what he can do as a quarterback what I loved about it and Smith said with coach Harbaugh it, he keeps it about football he doesn't make it about anything personal 
said everyone is accountable. And Coach Harbaugh and the coaching staff will say, hey, if we don't prepare you for something, it's our fault. And so there's accountability that's spread across the board. The players absolutely love it. First down, 15, Kyle Williams. On the move and out of bounds he goes. Motes is the one to steer him out of play. A gain of six, and he's up to about the 36. They're just pulling it all out. We told you nine different players last week carried the ball in this offense. Kyle Williams being one of them. Colin Kaepernick and obviously Frank Gore and company. But they'll give everyone an opportunity to touch the football. And what did Harbaugh tell us? The Wildcat it sort of stimulated the entire football team. Everyone knew they would be involved. Even a guy like Vernon Davis who blocked most of the time. He was excited about the Wildcat offense. You're right. A lot of creativity with a couple of tight ends. Second down and nine. Staley blocking at the left tackle and a robbery pass brought in by Crabtree. He got by Gilmore and look at the block downfield he gets from Manningham. And brings it down to the 26-yard line. Bird makes the stop. Flag has been thrown. 41-yard pickup for San Francisco. It's going to be holding on the back side. Personal foul. Top block. Offense number 21. 15-yard penalty from the previous spot. Wow. Replay, second down. Wow, I thought it might be holding on the left tackle on Staley, but they're going to get Frank Gore. Watch number 21. Now, if he comes in low while he's engaged. See, you can see he's engaged with an offensive lineman, and so you can't go low on a defensive player while he's engaged with another player. And so now, Solomon, we've had two big plays, one for each team, a long punt return by... The Buffalo Bills, a 41-yard pass right there by San Francisco, both negated by penalty. Yeah, and that's why Coach Harbaugh was not happy because the penalties are taking away big explosive plays from his offense right now. Second down, 24, four in the secondary for the Bills. Hunter in the backfield. And over his head, the ball sails. That's not too much of a surprise he's a little guy out of the backfield it's uh, third down and 24 for Smith well Shepard was in the area you had two offensive players for the 49ers who were sort of caught in the same area and Smith was wanting greater separation you got to get open don't allow one player to cover two Brian Scott's gonna come in defensively as well Justin Rogers for the Buffalo Bills third down and 24 now, this isn't the start coach Harbaugh wanted mm -hmm. what did he tell us he wanted to get off to a fast start good points on the board early not just three points Gore back in Fred Green takes it and then was brought down on the play by Aaron Williams a 16 yard catch and run on third and 24 not enough they got a punt well if you're the 49ers obviously with third and 24 you want to try to get something underneath get the catch and run, try to hit the sticks and create a first down. If you're the Bills, you do exactly that. Make the tackle before the runner can hit the first down sticks. Lee on the left, McKelvin on the right. We have to figure out what to do about McKelvin. The 80-yard punt return negated earlier in the game. A 59-yard kickoff return the last time he touched the ball. Lee playing with a broken right thumb, which is painful, he says, every time he gets the long snap. And lands it beautifully at about the 12. That's where Buffalo will start. Well-placed 54-yard punt. So we go next to another possession for Ryan Fitzpatrick. Down 3-zip. The NFL on CBS is sponsored by Here Comes the Boom. In theaters October 12th. And by Ram Trucks. Guts, glory, ram. Fisherman's Wharf, one of the many great sides of the Bay Area here in San Francisco. The Oakland Bay Bridge connecting the two. Here we've got McDonald on the defensive line. Culliver is in the backfield, first and ten. Here's a little draw play handoff, and C.J. Spiller is wrestled down after a gain of four. Hit by Navarro and spot him at the 16. Get live score updates for all of your favorite teams with the new CBS Sportcaster app. Available on selected devices. Visit cbsports.com slash mobile or text SCORE to 42777 to get the free app. Second down and seven.
Spiller is the number eight rusher in the NFL, and he's right now in back of the quarterback. Levitri a block. And it comes to the near side where it's caught by the receiver, Donald Jones. He's hit on the play by Carlos Rogers. The gain up to the 24 picks up eight yards. Right now, if you're the Buffalo Bills, you got to like the fact that your offense is gaining some rhythm. You're spreading out this defense. You're finding receivers open to throw to. I think they just have to do a better job of creating yards, running the football on the early downs. That's what Chan Gailey wants, to spread them out, run the football, and give themselves maybe a two-way opportunity. Here are the 49ers defensively. You want to make the Bills one-dimensional on offense, force them to have to throw it on every single down. That's why Harbaugh wanted the early lead. Five defensive backs, first down. Stevie Johnson. And he got it right in front of Terrell Brown, who makes the stop. It's a 14-yard gain to the 38. Some momentum for Chan Gailey's Buffalo Bills against the 3-1 San Francisco 49ers. Buffalo comes in 2-2. Two two. They blew a 14-point third-quarter lead last week against the Patriots. And now they've got to prove that they can bounce back. And over the next two weeks, this game in San Francisco, they'll spend the week in Arizona to play the Cardinals next week. This next two games are going to pretty much define who the Buffalo Bills really are. Spiller in the backfield first and 10 after the 14-yard pass to Johnson. And he takes it inside, and there goes Bowman, allowing just a gain of two at the stop for San Francisco. He's up to the 40-yard line. So much of defining who the Bills really are. What did Chan Gigli tell us? If we don't turn it over, we'll score points. And if we score points, we believe we can win ball games. They turned it over six times in that disappointing loss to the New England Patriots last week. Feels like if they could just keep the ball in, in their hands. He said, hey, we control our own destiny. And I think it starts with the play of their quarterback, Ryan Fitzpatrick. Second down and eight for Fitzpatrick. That's Chandler, the tight end, who's covered by Patrick Willis, five-time Pro Bowler, and that's a gain of three on the play, and they'll put him up at about the 43-yard line. Yeah, you talked about the Bills. They were barbecued in Buffalo last week against the New England Patriots. Six straight drive. The defense allowed a touchdown to Tom Brady and company. They gave up 45 points in the second half of that game, and they allowed 580 yards of total offense. And how about this? You allow two 100-yard rushers and two 100-yard receivers the second time it's ever happened in the National Football League. So the defense was very bad, aided by six turnovers by the offense. Graham is in, five in the secondary, third and five. That's the rookie, Graham, who makes the grab and has a first down hit by Willis. Grabbed at the 48, picks up eight, and a first down for the Buffalo Bills. And right now, Fitzpatrick's starting to get some rhythm. Right now, the 49ers defense, they're not getting close to getting to the quarterback. Fitzpatrick's getting comfortable. They're just dinking and dunking their way down the field, trying to isolate their talented wide receivers against one-on-one -on -one coverage. If you get Fitzpatrick rolling, remember, we told you they've already scored the most touchdowns entering Week 5 than any other team in the NFL. 16 coming into today's game. Still going to go Jackson in, first and 10. Fitzpatrick is at his last five consecutive passes in the pistol, and here he comes with the rush from Alden Smith. Chandler, the tight end, with the grab. Brought down on the play by Whitner to the 28-yard line of San Francisco. That's a 20-yard gain. Another Buffalo first down. Well, here you see they're getting into a rhythm, as we said. little bootleg action. It's the mobile quarterbacks that have hurt the 49ers defense, if at all, this season. Christian Ponder did it when they played the Vikings, and now you see Fitzpatrick getting out on the edge, finding Scott Chandler, who had two touchdown receptions last week against New England. This offense starting to gain some momentum. Spiller back in first and ten. Chandler picks up 20. Graham before that had eight. Here's the draw play, and Levitra with the block, and he cuts outside, and here goes C.J. Spiller. Wrestled down by Dante Whitner. A burst to the 16 of San Francisco. A pickup of 12. Another Buffalo first down. And Spiller was trying to find some room to run between the tackles. He said the 49ers don't believe I can run between the tackles, but watch him get outside. Deshaun Ghoston loses contain on the football, and his former teammate Dante Whitner has to get Spiller down to the ground. And Spiller has the kind of quickness to really jumpstart the running game for the Buffalo Bills. 
ninth play of the drive. First and ten, Fitzpatrick. Out of bounds, incomplete. He was off balance, and there was a lot of pressure coming up the middle, and it came from Ahmad Brooks, the linebacker. Brooks wasn't fooled on the plate. It is because he stayed home that he got immediate pressure in the face of Ryan Fitzpatrick. One thing that Chan Gailey Salmon mentioned in the press this week and to his players, he questioned their mental toughness. He really did. Week. Because they were up in that game last week against New England. They were up 21-7. to You allow 45 points to be scored in the second half. It's embarrassing. And he said these next two games against the 49ers and the Cardinals, our mental toughness will be tested. Let's see how we respond. Second 10 still in the nickel for San Francisco. He slings it inside a quick slant. Stevie Johnson at the 9. Make it the 8. With an eight-yard pickup, brought down by Terrell Brown. Oh, this is not what Coach Harbaugh wanted. He wanted to get some points early. He did not want to see his defense on the field a lot against this Buffalo Bills offense, which he knows can score points. And if you keep your defense out on the field, they begin to tire. That's when the Bills like to rack up points. They have too many playmakers in the offense to get into a shootout with the Buffalo Bills here at home. Jackson back in. Five-minute drive, third and two. Hairston holding him off at the left tackle. Dropped inside, and they were going for Brad Smith on a quick slant. Mega Jones, excuse me, Jones was going inside. Donald Jones, who's already caught a pass uh, in this game, but missing right there. Well, you got to say the 49ers dodged the bullet here. Jones has to make that catch. He's probably going to score a touchdown and fall across the goal line if he does haul it in. Well, there's a new holder now with Mormon gone and Thigpen holding last week. Bills punter Sean Paul, the new holder for Ryan Lindell, who will try to tie the game at 26 yards away. Early here in the second quarter. Neatly put down. Whistle blue flags all over the field. Before the snap, ball star. Offense, number 92. Five-yard penalty, still fourth down. Alex Carrington on the special teams for Buffalo. Here you're going to see movement right there. Yep. <laughs> Pulled his hand off the ground. and <laughs> Harbaugh said, let's see the flag. <laughs> We didn't get it. Going to push the Bills back and force them to have to make it again. Now it'll be a 31-yard drive. Lindell is only one of one this season. A 31-yarder in game two. Just for the tie and right down the middle. 31-yard field goal. 14 and 8-yard passes to Johnson. They got a 20-yard pass to Chandler and a 31-yard field goal. Buffalo had a 12-play, five-plus-minute drive. Got a 31-yard field goal. Now to kick off with John Potter. Currently the only kickoff specialist in the NFL. As you take a look at Fitzpatrick, who was six of eight on that drive. Stevie Johnson put his fingerprints on it. Chandler had the 20-yard reception, as we talked about. Spiller had the 12-yard run. The ensuing kickoff with Kyle Williams on the fly, and he'll take it out for San Francisco. Walkers ahead and runs out of room across the way, and then belted out of bounds 28 yard return so san francisco and buffalo tied frank gore and his offense back out there 10 40 in the second we just had a 31 yard field goal by the buffalo bills in san francisco the return to the 26 first down and 10 gore in the backfield and got a false start on the part of the 49ers false start offense number 77 five yard penalty Still first down. Mike U. Potty. Coming up in the Verizon Halftime Report, join J.B., Dan, Shannon, Boomer, and Coach Bill Cowher for all the latest NFL scores and highlights. That's all coming up on the Verizon Halftime Report from our CBS studios in New York. Hunters have had four penalties all on the offense. This has got to be killing Coach Harbaugh. He, he really does expect the, to be more disciplined and sound and fundamental. Four penalties so far early in the game. Base defense for the Buffalo Bills, first and 15. Smith, Crabtree, finds a gap, and there he goes past midfield and taken down by Gilmore from behind. Racing to the Buffalo, 43, 36-yard catch and run, first down San Francisco. Well, what you've got here, now watch, we're going to show you the linebacker, and then this is going to be a linebacker. They just overshoot this play, 
and it's just got to you got to be sound in your position see right there stay in position to make a play he goes to the outside receiver and that allows crabtree underneath where he came wide open Carrington now on that defensive Let's line go, for the Bills. Go, First down and 10 for San Francisco. Bruce Miller, the fullback, is in the outset out. Smith going deep. And he's got his receiver. Williams with a dazzling move and a touchdown. Smith making big time plays in the passing game. And I think the Bills defense showed us that they will give you big plays in the passing game last week against New England. It's just a stop, back shoulder throw, and he's able to beat the cornerback. Look at that. He just spins right out of it, catches it right in front of Aaron Williams, right there, and spins out of it and runs it in for a touchdown. It's just way too easy. No pressure on the quarterback, poor coverage on the back end. 43-yard touchdown pass and the ensuing extra point by David Akers in San Francisco takes another lead of 10 to 3. They got Crabtree for 36. Then they zero in on Kyle Williams on a 43-yard touchdown pass. It's the Niners by 7 and 9, 54 in the half. The NFL on CBS is sponsored by DirecTV. If you call yourself a sports fan, you got to get DirecTV. New York Life Insurance Company. And by the all-new Honda Accord. It starts with you. A long completions. The last one, a 43-yard pass to Kyle Williams, who is the son of Chicago White Sox general manager Ken Williams. He was the kid who had all those problems in the NFC Championship game against the Giants. Retrieving punts. But now you see why they kept him on the team. Pretty good receiver. Absolutely. <laughs> he has won the team over with his hustle and his work ethic. And here's the kickoff by Akers. He back Smith and McKelvin. And looking into that bright California sun. That ball will whistle over their heads and out of bounds. Touchback to the 20. Well, Kevin, well, first of all, it's a play action pass. And you're going to see the bootleg right there. But then watch up top. It's just a real streak down the field. And what they're going to do, he's working against man-to-man, -man, Aaron Williams, the cornerback. Now watch the stop, back shoulder throw right here, and one comes back to the ball and makes a play on it. Aaron Williams simply can't recover well enough in coverage to be able to make the tackle on Kyle Williams in space. Great throw from Alex Smith in terms of the timing and anticipation. Spiller in the backfield, the tight end inside is Lee Smith here, bottom of your screen, first down and 10 from the 20. Spiller. Watson, Donald Jones, the tight end, or the wide receiver. And here's a three-yard gain. A couple guys making a stop right there out to the 23-yard line. And I'd like to tell you that on Wednesday on Survivor, shifting alliances and a devious scheme leave the tribes in turmoil. No miss an all-new Survivor. Wednesday only on CBS. Second down and seven. Niners are sticking with the nickel, and that means that Chris Culliver is out there, second player of the South Carolina third round pick. Stevie Johnson, low and caught. Right in front of the defensive back, Rodgers, gain of eight on second and seven. That's a first down to the 31. Well, that ball tipped a little bit because it seemed to come out a little bit funny let's see if that ball's tipped as it sails past the line of scrimmage yeah right there look at that ball's gonna wobble and then Stephen Johnson's still able to make the catch number 94 Justin Smith able to get a paw on it about Johnson still able to haul it in Spiller remains Chandler's in motion at the bottom of your screen first down and ten DJ Spiller Working his way up, and Goldson brings him down after a gain of five to the 36. Jay Spiller proving he can run it up inside. He said, you know, the 49ers, like other defenses, they don't believe that I can run it inside in between the tackles. i got to prove to them that I can. i got to believe you. As he saw Deshaun Ghosting coming up, he did hesitate to hit the hole a little bit, even though it was a good enough run to create a second and medium situation. 
Hairston today is starting at the left tackle. Alan Brown was starter at that guard position. Two starters out from last week. Andrew, second down and five. Spiller. There's a block from Hairston outside. And again, Goldson comes in from a safety and brings him down after a gain of three on the play. Well, Goldson does a really good job of reading this play and he attacks the line of scrimmage trying to meet cj spiller in the hole or on the other side of the backfield look at that 38 pressing the line that's why you know cj spiller wasn't going to shoot the gap on that hole not with goldston standing in the middle of it both safeties on this defense goldston and whitmer excellent tacklers in the open field Colin Brown started that right guard. Now they're taking him out, and Chad Reinhardt is in there because there's been an injury to Brown. Third down and two, and Fitzpatrick going deep and looking for Spiller. He had Bowman and Whitner right on his tail down the far side. So the injury's piling up on the line for the Buffalo Bills. And Reinhardt had a calf injury this week. Well, that's the matchup they wanted coming out of the backfield, and this is Spiller matched up against Bowman. Does have a step on him. And if you're Fitzpatrick, you've got to be able to give the runner, C.J. Spiller, an opportunity to make the catch on that throw. You can't have the ball sail out of bounds. Powell will punt again. And, oh, beautifully for the Bills going out of bounds at about the two to three yard line of San Francisco. Nice place punt there by Powell, a 58 yarder, 659 in the second quarter. This was the scene yesterday over San Francisco Bay and the Golden Gate Bridge, the Blue Angels here. There was all kinds of military salutes throughout the uh, city of San Francisco and Fleet Week, a beautiful, beautiful afternoon and highlighted by that. It was just great to be in the area. We were soaking it all in. After the punt by Buffalo, strands them at the three. Gore on first down and ten, brings it up, and Shepard grabs him up high, allows a one-yard gain. So far, Alex Smith is soaking in what this Buffalo Bills defense has given him. Plenty. Getting the ball down the field to Vernon Davis, finding Michael Crabtree over the middle of the field. The last possession, only two plays, two completions, including the 43-yarder to Kyle Williams for a touchdown. It's been 27 consecutive games since the 49ers have had a quarterback throw for over 300 yards in the game. I think Alex Smith may get it done today. You take a look at the pass distribution. He's spreading the ball around to plenty of receivers. Boats is out as a linebacker. Bradham is in a rookie. Second down and nine. Again, they try to carve something up the middle and just not a whole lot there. And there's 53, Bradham. He just checked in. He's the rookie out of Florida State. Motes was the starter. Gain of two right there by San Francisco on the run. Looks like we may get a little wildcat now as Colin Kaepernick set to come into the game, Kevin. Kaepernick was uh, terrific last week against the New York Jets. They call it the wildcat, as in Kaepernick. <laughs> He's in the backfield with Hunter. There's a third down and seven. Second here, quarterback and a handoff goes to Hunter. Bupati with the block. A flag is thrown, and there goes Hunter taking it up the sideline and hit by Gilmore at about the 20, 19-yard line. It's a run as it stands right now of 14 yards. Doing the run, tripping, offense, number 46, half the distance to the goal, replay, third down. To Lenny Walker, and that is the fifth penalty on the San Francisco 49ers, all have been on the offensive side. And they're all coming at critical times when they've had significant gains on offense, and it's just putting them in a deeper hole. Yeah, once he falls right here, look at that. Now watch the next swipe, kicking right there, tripping. You can't do that. And that was a good-looking play as Zupati gets out in front, providing blocking and running room. Hills in the nickel, third down and ten. Alex Smith is back in there again, a quarterback. On a huge hole, Bird brings him down. And he's got the first down to the 15-yard line. 
He picks up 12 on third and 10. They'll move the chains for San Francisco. You know, sometimes running backs just have to have good instincts. And where this ball was supposed to hit on the run play, there was no room there. Now, if you just stop it, look, right there. See, if you'd have played here, there would have been no hole. But see, he goes to daylight, and that's where his instincts took him. It was just excellent read by Kendall Hunter. Fifth DB just checks out. That's Rodgers back to the base in the first and ten for San Francisco. Hunter. Walker will throw a block. Bruce Miller throws a block. And after all that, just a gain of a yard. Anderson and Barnett were there to make the stops. And coming up, the Verizon halftime report. JB and company will take you through the NFL today. A lot of surprises. Latest scores, highlights, and news. That's the Verizon halftime report from our CBS studios. Coming up, second down and nine. Uh, Coach Harbaugh talks about nothing coming easy, but it's not coming easy for his team with the penalties they've had here in the first half. Gore is in. Kelsey on the defensive line, second down and nine. Mario Manning here. And he was dancing right there with George Wilson, who brings him down at about the 16. And a gain of a half yard at the very, very most. Oh, you talk about playing with leverage. That's exactly what Wilson did right there. Excellent tackling in the open field against Mario Manningham. Didn't allow him to get outside, but didn't allow the cutback run either. Two linebackers leave. Two defensive backs come in for the Bills. The 28 against the run. The 29 points allowed this season. Big chore today against San Francisco. Third down and nine. Extra receiver Kyle Williams. Good block by Davis, the right tackle. Here comes Smith. He's got to get to the 25. He's got the first down, and he gets a block downfield from Crabtree, among others. He's up to the 40. 24-yard scramble. First down, San Francisco. Nick Barnett, linebacker for the Buffalo Bills, talked about it when we spoke with him yesterday that Alex Smith has improved as a quarterback and that this was probably one of the things that he can do best, and that is make plays with his legs. Yeah, you come in throwing the football, you expect him to throw it, but when it breaks down, he can make plays with his legs. We talked about the playoff game against the New Orleans Saints where he broke around around the end for a significant touchdown run. So on this drive, he's converted third and ten, third and nine, two tight ends. Here yeah, goes another flag. There's another false start on San Francisco. Kyle Williams looked like he left early. There was movement on the right side of that offensive line for the 49ers. Neutral zone infraction. Defense, number 95. Five-yard penalty. Still first down. That is on the uh, two-time Pro Bowler Williams. There he is right there. See, once he comes in there, then you get the movement by Smith, the right tackle. Seventh play of the drive. This drive began back at the San Francisco three after a well-placed punt by Powell as Chan Gailey watches first and five for San Francisco. Good time for Smith. Trying to thread it to Crabtree. And not a whole lot there. Barnett and Gilmore were there. We've reached the two-minute warning. A 43-yard touchdown pass by Smith gives San Francisco the lead. Nobody knows the game like a quarterback. Don't miss Phil Simms, Rich Gannon, Steve Berline, and special guest Dan Fouts on NFL Monday quarterback tomorrow. 6.30 Eastern only on CBS Sports Network. The 24-hour home of CBS Sports. Two-minute warning. They were down at the three, first and ten. They got a 12-yard run by Hunter. Then San Francisco got a 24-yard run by Smith, the quarterback. Second and five right here. They've got all three timeouts. Good time. Those guards doing a great job on the move. Vernon Davis breaks the tackle on the move. He takes it inside the 40. He broke the tackle of the rookie who's in now for Moats. That's Bradham, a 17-yard catch and run. They'll put him south into the 38 of Buffalo. Yeah, we told you how good the linebacker can tackle for the San Francisco 49ers and their inability of the Bills linebackers to get them on the ground after they catch it, allowing big plays for the 49ers. 17-yard pickup. They go outside once again. That's a one-yard gain. There's Bradham with the stop on the great tight end, Vernon Davis. We take a timeout, 124 to play. The Niners on the move and on top.
The NFL on CBS is sponsored by State Farm. Get to a better state with a discount double check. And by Chili's, the $20 dinner for two. Now with USDA Choice Sirloin Steak. Second down and nine, there's Mario Williams. Boy, a lot of people have been criticizing him in the press and the fans of the Bills. He's playing with a critical wrist injury, and he talked about it. He says, you know, for a defensive lineman, if you don't have use of your hands or your feet, you're going to struggle. And right now he's fighting through that injury to try to have the kind of production that he wants to have, get, getting sacks and stopping run plays. Second down and nine for Alex Smith, who goes in the middle and finds Davis, and now he's being chased by Rodgers and brought down from behind. Catch and run of 11 earlier on this drive. Davis caught one for 17. And on this defense is more than just about Mario Williams. It's about not getting pressure on the quarterback, Alex Smith. It's about not being able to cover Vernon Davis, Michael Crabtree, and the receivers on the back end. First down and 10. Smith from behind. Oh, Williams just about had him right there. Wow. He got the ball away very quickly. There's also a new player playing for the Bills. In active all season, Kyle Moore now in a three-point stance yeah, on the line. And watch Williams. He detaches now. He's able to get loose and make a play on the quarterback. And, Kevin, he had been playing with a cast on that wrist. He decided he would not use it today, thinking he could free up and get off blockers and run and make plays to the football. Kaepernick has come in. There he is. You see him on the right side there. Number seven. The second year, second round pick out of Nevada. Second down and ten. Kaepernick is at the top. There he is right next to Randy Moss. Here's the pitch to him. And second down. On the move. And a block by Gora. Fumble on the play. The Bills look like they jumped on it first. They have. And a fumble by San Francisco it is. And Kaepernick coughs it up. Boy, that's a big play for the Buffalo D. And it was Darius at the bottom of the pile. You know, sometimes you want nine different guys carrying the ball. Do All nine guys get to carry it all week in practice. He comes around and watch this hit. And they lay on Colin Kaepernick right there. Nick Barnett yes, able sir. to strip the ball out. Marcel Darius gets it. And I think that's what you've got to do. You know, Colin Kaepernick is not a big guy. He's tall, linear. Boy laid a lick on him, carrying the ball on the inside hand where Nick Barnett was coming in on the play, able to strip it out and create a turnover. Huge play for the Bills defense getting the stop here before halftime. Now with the 17-yard line, as you take a look at the defense, which really came up with a huge play right there for the driving San Francisco 49ers. So Jim Harbaugh watches. And not having two starting offensive linemen today for Buffalo, Alan Brown, who has taken the place of the usual starting right guard, Craig Urbick, has left. Kevin, the main thing is they're going to go and take a look at this fumble, but, you know, Ryan Fitzpatrick is one of the least sacked quarterbacks all season long, so if you can protect him, he'll make plays. So they'll review it. From upstairs, of course, inside two minutes. All reviews are called from the booth. As Kaepernick coughs it up. Well, last week he was so effective against the New York Jets. As he uh, had five carries and 50 yards. Let's watch it again. Okay, we know it's a fumble. Was Darius out of bounds? Wow. Oh, <laughs> I got to tell you, I saw his, his foot hit the white. But did he have possession of the ball before he taps out of bounds? See right there, the foot taps out of bounds, but does he have possession of the ball before that foot taps out? It was already ruled recovered by the Bills on the field. And now you need clear visible evidence that his foot hit out of bounds before making the recovery if you're going to reverse the call on the field. Ball is out. There's, now watch right now. Let's see if he had, okay, we see the ball right there. He doesn't have the ball right now. His foot still hasn't tapped out, but he may already have the ball at this point right now. I think somebody else touched the ball before him, though. He can't be the first if he goes out of bounds. It looked like some Buffalo player had touched the ball before Darius. Well, 
Okay, boom, right? After reviewing the play, the ruin on the field stands is a fumble recovered by Buffalo. First down. Well, it was a fumble, and it looked like Darius had gained recovery before his foot tapped the out-of-bounds line. So as we were talking before we were uh, going through that replay, Urbic is the normal right guard. He's injured, injured an ankle. So they were going to start Reinhardt, but he had a camp injury, so they began the game with Brown. Brown has since gotten hurt, and Reinhardt is in there. Man, oh man, he's shuffling one piece after another with three timeouts, first and ten from the 17. Fitzpatrick. He'll air it out. Going down the side, looking for the rookie Graham, and it's incomplete. E.J. Graham is a good one. They like his upside. Terrell Brown was defending in the secondary for San Francisco. Well, he was in lockstep with the receiver. There was a little pressure in the face of the quarterback, and so this ball just sails high. Fitzpatrick has to get rid of it early. You can see excellent coverage. That ball wasn't nearly close to the intended wide receiver, T.J. Graham. And there you see pressure right in the face. And if you're not able to step up into that one, as you saw, it was Alden Smith that came around and got the lick on Fitzpatrick. Jackson in the backfield, second down and ten. Here comes Fred. They're trying to give a block right in there. Harrison was ahead, too. Harrison today, as we finish up our offensive line talk of Buffalo, was starting at the left tackle, taking the place of the injured Cordy Glenn, the rookie out of Georgia. He had an ankle injury last week, too. Timeout, San Francisco. Well, Harbaugh and San Francisco, pretty good success here. They've won 10 of their last 11 regular season home games here in Candlestick Park. When we talked to him, he didn't want to take a lot of credit. He says, you know, coaches, we're just advice givers. We're not motivational speakers. He said, if it were the case, Tony Robbins would be a head coach. <laughs> I thought it was hilarious. Six in the secondary, third and six for Fitzpatrick. Chandler on the move. Oh, that's a fumble. Goldson picks it up. He's on the move, and Jackson brings him down. First turnover for the Bills. Chandler coughs it up. They've got the ball. The Niners will be at the 27-yard line of Buffalo. It starts with the tackling. Chris, clean, physical tackling. Watch after you make this catch. That's Patrick Willis stripping arm and body at the same time he's getting Chandler to the ground. Not many linebackers can do this, Kevin. Watch this. Arm. He rakes at the ball while he's bringing Chandler to the ground. That's what caused the fumble. And Deshaun Golston is a recipient of Patrick Willis's hard work. Golson will make those splash plays. He's very athletic. He had two big hits and two big pass breakups last week against the Jets, and they are going to review this as well with 29 seconds to play. And Willis is the premier inside middle linebacker in the league today. Uh, he's a three-down player. Excellent run stuffer, but you see him now in pass coverage. He already has one interception this year, and you saw on the strip fumble, the rip and rake. It was just a phenomenal play to get the ball back out of the hands of Scott Chandler. Watch it again. They're going to go take a look at it. Yeah, he had, I thought he made a football move. Because they're going to go back and look and say, oh, did he catch it? Was there a football move? Absolutely. <laughs> he took a couple of steps, tucked it away, was running with the football. And there's Willis. Just swooping in like a hawk on the tackle and force fumble. He's a three-down linebacker, and that's one of the things that San Francisco will boast. They got guys that can play extensive time, not have to be taken out for sub packages. At every single position. Timeout. Reviewing it upstairs. After reviewing the play, the ruling on the field stands. Fumble recovery, San Francisco, first down. Uh, they were going back to look and see if Scott Chandler actually made the catch and then made a football move. Did he have possession and control? I think he did. Look, there's the catch. He takes one step, takes two step. He's got the ball tucked away, at least so he thinks, until Patrick Willis comes in with the rip and rake, creating the fumble, then the recovery by Golston. Six turnovers by the Bills last week and now already one here today in the first half. Two tight ends for the quarterback, Alex Smith. Going for Crabtree. Touchdown. He beat the rookie Gilmore. Crabtree's first touchdown reception this season. 
All right, bites him again, Kevin. The offense and their turnover and what transpired last week against the Patriots, it bites him again today. The defense doesn't respond. There you see Crabtree's just going to run what we call a seven route, a post corner, and then we're just going to go ahead and hit it. Now, take a look at this. He'll bend inside, then he goes back outside, dropping it over the head of the cornerback right there for a touchdown. Just a great throw, but got to have better coverage on the back end if you're Gilmore. Akers. 17 to 3, San Francisco with 24 seconds to play, and they cash in on the fumble by Chandler, the tight end, after the catch. Two touchdown passes by quarterback Alex Smith. 43 yards to Williams, 28 yards right there to Crabtree. Well, you know, you're Alex Smith. He's come out with a hot hand. We're going to show you the play. We talk about coming off the ball, you're going here. But if you're the cornerback, Gilmore, you've got to drop, and then the safety has to be able to come over the top. And you've just got to do a much better job of covering. Look, so he bites up, and you see Gilmore comes up on the play, allowing Crabtree to get behind him, and the safety's not able to come over the top. So it's just a coverage beater by Alex Smith on the throw to Crabtree. Oh, look at that in the first half, 237. We already said the 49ers had gone 27 consecutive games, Kevin, without having a quarterback throw for 300 yards in a single game. Right now, he's off to a fiery start. One of the things we talked with Alex up at the uh, facility of the San Francisco 49ers, he said, I got a lot of mouths to feed. We got a lot of options to select from on this offense. I got to keep everybody happy, and it is not an easy chore. Well, he talked about it, too. He said he's had so many offensive coordinators, so many different coaches since he's been here in San Francisco. He just hadn't had time to work on the fundamentals and the mechanics of the position, always learning a new offense. Spent the offseason for the first time in his career working the mechanics with Tom House down in Los Angeles. I think it's paying off. The pitching guru who's worked with Drew Brees and Matt Castle and Tom Brady and McKelvin gets it on a hop and it's the 20-yard line. Start for the Buffalo Bills on the touchback and Chandler back out there. Well, this offense has to do a better job of just protecting and securing the football. We're talking about a 10-3 deficit if you're Buffalo going in at halftime. You turn it over, and now seven more points for a 49ers team that if they get up on you, this defense can land a knockout blow on its own. Chan Gailey somewhat concerned right now. As he told us, Kevin, if we don't turn it over, we'll score the football. We will win football games. They're going to sit on the ball and run out the final 24. With the position they start with right here at their 20-yard line. So, Buffalo, if you knock out this possession, five possessions, three punts, one field goal, fumble moments ago. San Francisco has got a 19-yard field goal, a 43-yard touchdown pass, and a 28-yard touchdown pass to Crabtree. This is a run team that will pass around it, playing defense and not turning it over and they walk to their locker room with a seven here on CBS home of Super Bowl 47. Some of the sights and sounds of our first half. There you see the score and what stands out about what San Francisco has done in the first half. I think the fact that the 49ers have passed the ball more than they have run it, and that's not a staple of what they normally do on offense. Alex Smith has been red hot. 237 yards passing in the first half, two touchdown passes. They have put the game in the hands of their quarterback, Alex Smith, and that is showing you that this offense is growing and evolving before our very eyes. We talk about Alex Smith, and of course he was uh, part of our draw. Razor M play presented by Motorola hooking up with Kyle Williams on a long one. Well, he has really, I think, gotten going with this offense. They've had some critical penalties that have taken away other plays. And after rushing for 245 yards using the Wildcat one week ago today, you can see big-time numbers in the passing game. And so and we talked about this with Alex Smith. Can this become an offense that could be very prolific in its passing attack if teams force them to have to throw the ball to make plays? Could they do it? I think he's come out today in the first half and proven they can do just that. San Francisco will kick off Akers 
has it teed up. Kelvin, who's had an 80-yard punt return taken back because of a penalty. He's also had a 59-yard kickoff return. This lands about two end zones away. Back at home plate where the San Francisco Giants used to play. Let's take a look at the quarterbacks right here. Smith on the left and Fitzpatrick hustling onto the field on the right. Well, we talked about the turnovers that have continued to plague the Buffalo Bills. Even though Fitzpatrick hasn't thrown the interception, we saw the fumble by his tight end on a nice throw from Fitzpatrick. He is now going to have to begin to push the ball down the field a little bit, which means he's got to be very careful throwing it deep against these safeties. First down and 10. This is Fred Jackson. Climbing up and tackled on the play by Justin Smith. Played a lot of snaps last season. He has become one of the dominant players in the NFL on the defensive line. And a gain of seven right there for Fred Jackson. Well, it is that defensive line that continues to hunt the quarterback. And as the Bills get in a position where they have to throw it more, what do the 49ers tell us? We've got to make the offense one-dimensional. You jump out to a 17-3 lead in the second half of ball games. Now, can Chan Gailey stay patient with the running game or will he start to throw it on every single down? It's second down and three. A twirl in Jackson. He's got the first down, picking up four. Did not give up on it. Goldson from the secondary brings him down for San Francisco. Well, plays like that will help you stay two-dimensional. You've got to be able to have a run-pass option if you're going to play well against this 49ers defense. And Fred Jackson's always been good at breaking tackles, creating yards after contact, something many running backs aren't able to do against this 49er defense. Niners in the nickel. The extra defensive back is Chris Culliver. First down and 10, Buffalo. Jones in motion. Oh, look at this. Devoured on the play. Ahmad Brooks. Had a sack last week against the Jets. Devours Fitzpatrick right there. The first shot by San Francisco. Back to the 20. We talk about being disciplined. Even though the flow, it goes away from you. Look, Brooks stays disciplined. Stays backside. Doesn't go chasing other plays. He's just doing his job. If flow goes away, you... Just wait for that quarterback to come on that bootleg. It's his second straight game. He's out of sack now. Here's to play on the left tackle. He started there. Petrie certainly the left guard. Wood is the center. Second down and 21 for Fitzpatrick. Back at his 20 and a loss of 11 on the previous play. Good block by Pierce from behind. It's Rillis. <laughs> The Pro Bowler, he's been a Pro Bowler every season in the NFL. A two-yard gain right there by Fitzpatrick. He picks up two to the 22. Now watch how quickly he closes in. Justin Smith flushes him out of the pocket, working against Wood. But look at Patrick Willis. He's, he's so quick, he's so fast at the second level. Got a little extra between Ryan Hart and Justin Smith. Well, Smith made the All-Pro team playing two positions on defense one year ago. Jackson is in, third and 19, six in the secondary. Jackson, athletic catch, Wood trying to lead the way across the way, and out of bounds, Parrish Cox, who had just checked in, forces him out of bounds, that's a gain of five, and shy of the first down, and on their first second half possession, the Buffalo Bills have got to punt the ball. Well, they forced the, forced the third down play. They're not able to convert. Just trying to get it over to Fred Jackson. Got some blockers out in front. Fred Jackson doing all he can. But look at just how they cut off all the running angles with the pursuit of every defender for the 49ers. Third punt and six possessions for the Buffalo Bills. And that was pressured. Powell gets it again. Watches it bounce in front. And it hit McKelvin and picked up by Ginn, and he's down to the 33 yard line, a 38 yard punt. San Francisco will take over, leading 17 3. Another look at Alex Smith. Bit of housekeeping. That was the fourth punt by the Buffalo Bills. Five plays punt right there. So taken over now by Smith at his own 34, first down and 10. Gore move, false start. All star offense number 21 five yard penalty still first down join the nfl and the american cancer society in the fight against breast cancer by supporting a crucial catch campaign visit nfl.com 
slash auction to bid on authentic NFL pink gear worn by players and coaches. And they are sprinkled throughout the field. See Ted Ginn Jr. and others. And Otis McKelvin, the same, first and 15. Now back to the 29-yard line for Alex Smith. Well, he gets low and back at that center. About as his crouch is about as low as any quarterback in the NFL. Making sure he gets the ball. He does. He's going to get it. He's going to loop one here for Davis on the fly. Got the matchup he wanted. Working on Arthur Motes. 24-yard gain and a great catch with a perfect throw to the 47 of the Bills. Well, Vernon Davis is the ultimate weapon. On the left side of your screen, working against Motes. And then Smith drops this one nicely in the bucket. And watch it this throw. Watch how it just arcs in directly where his guy can get it. And that's where I think Alex Smith has really improved. If you don't think this guy can throw the football well enough to beat you, then you're just not paying attention. Kaepernick is in. He's on the move. He gets the ball. They practice this Friday. We watch it firsthand. Winding up. Flag has been thrown looking for Davis. And a... Defense right there by Bird, and the flag is back at the 46-yard line of San Francisco. Bird deflected it, but Davis also had a chance to catch it, and had he caught it, he would have scored the touchdown. Davis has had a very good year. Only caught two passes last week in the win over the Jets, but he was more a blocker, and his blocking has really improved. Holding, offense, 10-yard penalty, replay, first down. He didn't tell us who the culprit was. <laughs> was it Staley? Maybe the left tackle. Let's watch him. Another right there. Yep. <laughs> Just right. Well, that's tackling. <laughs> you got uh, Mark Anderson that time. Tackled him right to the ground. Well, wipes out a big gain right there. So <laughs> offensive penalties on Jim Harbaugh's crew. Seven all told so far. It's uncharacteristic, too, of Coach Harbaugh's team, and they talked about it, just the discipline that they have and, you know, doing things the right way, and sometimes the right way is not the easy way, but yet they embrace it. There's down in 20 with the penalty. Smith. So he's had a big game today. Catch one right in front of Bird. He's to the 48 of Buffalo. Sixth catch over 100 yards to New York and James. Chicago's defense getting it done, Coach. Yeah, so you'll appreciate this. Watch Charles Tillman. This is the fourth defensive touchdown in the last three games. Picks it off and doesn't just pick it off. He scores with it once he picks it off. Touchdown, only touchdown of the game right now. 13-3, Chicago. And yes, Solly will appreciate that. Kevin and Solomon. He did it on Monday night <laughs> against Dallas and Tony Romo. Coach Kyle is right. I can appreciate any time you make the plays on the back end of the deep. Score, second down and ten. Big clock by Staley that opens the door. Darius chases him down. The big defensive lineman brings him down. Bird is down and looks like he's injured. Down to the 16 of the Buffalo Bills. A 31-yard burst by Frank Gore. Well, Staley, the left tackle, he's making a wonderful block. Watch him come out here. And then look, you're going to get Boone, 75, the right guard. Look at him, coming down right here, <laughs> trying to get blocked. He whiffs a little bit, but you have to appreciate the big guy getting down there, trying to create more room to run for Frank Gore. Bird stays in. Bradham, by the way, seeing his most extensive action. He's in as one of the linebackers, first and 10. Kaepernick is in. He'll run it like he did last week. Chased by Barnett. Inside the five, into the pylon. And Bird with the tackle, shy of the goal line. A 15-yard run by Kyle Kaepernick. Now right now, if you're the Buffalo Bills, this is where you have to respond. You cannot allow this 49ers team to start gashing you. They chop the legs out from up under Nick Barnett. It gets him to the edge. And we just showed you a number that this 49ers offense, and you see the block by Mario Manningham on the edge, 49er offense already has reeled off seven plays of 20 yards or more. Colin Kaepernick just ripping off one to get it down to the goal line. Kelsey and Cairns on that defensive line for Buffalo. First and goal at the one. Gore. Touchdown. San Francisco 49ers. They wear you down up front with their huge, massive offensive line. And Frank Gore goes over the top for a touchdown and he'll thank his offensive lineman on Monday 
They're just doing a really good job now of beginning to find creases and then gashes in that defensive front for the Buffalo Bills. Vernon Davis, you may recall on that drive, caught one for 24. Here is Akers tacking on one more and 24 to 3, San Francisco. Frank Gore had a 31-yard run. Kaepernick came in with a wild cap offense on a 15-yard gallop. Then Gore sailing through the air. A yard touchdown leap. The NFL on CBS is sponsored by Southwest Airlines. Find our fares online only at southwest.com. Fidelity Investments. Take control of your personal economy. And by the motion picture thriller Alex Cross in theaters October 19th. Active Fisherman's Wharf here in San Francisco. The Bay Area just hopping this weekend with playoff baseball. The NFL Red Hot 49ers are coming off arguably the most dominant win by any team in the first month of the season and what they did in dismantling the Jets a week ago. 34 nothing in the middle lane. Look at what they're doing now. They have one fewer plays on offense than the Buffalo Bills, but look at the total yards. Over 400 total yards of offense, and they're getting their bang for the buck here again today. Similar to what they did to the Jets last week. Akers kicks this one to Sausalito. Out of the end zone, touchback to the 20. Last week, the replacement refs made news with an in-studio visit. This week, don't miss New York Giants legend Lawrence Taylor and comedian and NFL fan Bill Burr. They join Phil, Chris, and JB. It's inside the NFL Wednesdays, only on Showtime. Tim Harbaugh, uh, you just have to love what kind of coach he is. He talked about this guy named Freddie P. Soft. Remember he told his players, just that little guy that sits on your shoulder who helps you to become complacent. So he wants to guard against human nature, and he's always has his players on point, ready to work hard. Spiller is in there, Chandler is the tight end, Willis with the tackle to the 25 on a gain of five on first down. What did Harbaugh tell him? You know he's the son of a coach, and we know his, his brother. His dad is here. Of course, his brother is the head coach of the Baltimore Ravens. And, you know, he just said his dad, he says, wow, he said, I'm half the coach that my dad is. And he loves having his dad around, watching practice, watching tape. He said every time he opens up his mouth, he's dropping some kind of, some nugget of truth to help me be a better coach. So as he finds himself and stuff his dad said, he would be in his dad's locker rooms as a little kid. Second down, five. Here comes Alden Smith. There goes the pass through the hands of Chandler. The coverage by Willis. Third down and five. We talk about him being, of course, Coach Harbaugh being the son of a coach. Kind of runs in the family, does it, Kevin? Here is Jack Harbaugh, 19 season as an NCAA head coach. His brother, of course, John, the fifth season as the Baltimore Ravens head coach. Already gone to a couple of championship games, and now they get Jim Harbaugh taking his team to the NFC title game. And his brother-in-law, Coach Tom Green, now coaching, of course, in Division I college basketball, one of the best coaches in college hoops. At Indiana University, recruiting the storm there. Bloomington third in the short five. Good catch by T.J. Graham, Swift arming his way by Whitner. And he runs Whitner all the way to the 45, a catch and run of 19. Not a promise for this kid out of North Carolina State in the third round pick. Well, the, it starts with protection. As you can see, they keep Spiller in to help with protection, and they were able to get it over to Grant. He's making the catch, creating yards after the catch, getting away from Dante Whitney, who's just hounded him till he runs out of bounds. With four catches last week against the New England Patriots, and now we've got a little wildcat going on. The quarterback Fitzpatrick at the bottom of the screen. Smith is in. The fake to Spiller. And the former college quarterback at Missouri, and he takes it down past Willis. Wilson from behind, a great run down to the 20. Brad Smith with the run. A 35-yard pickup and a first down. Turnabout, fair play. Fake the reverse to Spiller, and they're able to get outside the edge. Alden Smith is the linebacker, number 99, who loses contain on the football. Fitzpatrick blocking downfield. Don't run up your quarterback legs unless you want to be the starting quarterback, Brad Smith. <laughs> he did play quarterback in college, as you mentioned, at Missouri. He has been practicing with the wide receiver group because they've had injuries at that position. Are you to see them run the Wildcat a lot sooner this season? Spiller has a match at the bottom of your screen with Bowman, the linebacker. First and ten for Fitzpatrick. 
And to the end zone, intercepted, picked off by Culliver. That is another turnover for the Buffalo Bills. Culliver, a second-year DB out of South Carolina. They were going deep and looking for Donald Jones. Yeah, he was looking for Jones. This ball just sails to the outside. Fitzpatrick, bad throw, even worse decision. Woe is me, Ryan Fitzpatrick. He knows it was a bad decision, bad throw, bad ball placement, everything, as he throws his first interception of the game and second turnover for the Bills offense. Thomas hits Alex Smith, first down and 10, Frank Gore. Build hard on the play. That was Bradham coming up with the stop. It's a game of two. Go back and take a look at that play. It, of course, the receiver, the intended receiver, is at the top of the screen. Now watch this. Okay, this ball should be thrown back in here where either your guy can get it or no one's going to get it. But look, it just flutters and hangs up there, underthrown, and now you allow the defensive back to come back and intercept that throw. And so I thought it was a bad decision, but even worse, it was just a bad throw for Ryan Fitzpatrick. He didn't get enough on it to throw it either out of bounds or where the receiver could catch it. Second down and eight, Hunter. To get the corner, then an avalanche of defenders go over there and make the stop. Ride him again, number 53, most extensive action. Pick up a three on the play, up to the 11-yard line. I mean, we begin the game saying that the 49ers do a good job of playing complementary football. The offense complementing the defense. Well, the Bills are the antithesis of that, the exact opposite, where the offense turns it over, the defense gives up a score. And they're just not playing together and in sync when it comes to both sides of the ball. The offense continues to turn it over for the second consecutive week. In the secondary, Brian Scott is coming as a linebacker. Third down and five. Hand off to Hunter. Back pedal his way in. The center, Jonathan Goodwin in there trying to plow and open some room. It's a gain of five. And he'll be close to the first down. He's up about the 16-yard line. Let's see the spot. First down. Tell us, Jerome Boger is our referee today here in San Francisco. You know, we came in, we tried to give Harbaugh such credit for turning around this 49ers. What you talk about? He just wouldn't even hear of it. He was like, you know, we're just coaches. We're just advice givers. <laughs> you know, he took away the motivational stuff. He said, we're not philosophers. All we do is just give advice to some talented players. And he really did give a lot of credit to the players on his roster for the success that they've had. Well, see on the defensive line, he just jumps right there on that first down. And Jim, uh, Jim Harbaugh said he grew up wanting to be a baseball shortstop. He was an Ohio native growing up, cheering for the Indians, and they moved to Detroit, and then he wanted to be a shortstop for the Tigers. Defense, number 90, five-yard penalty, still first down. Tuesday on CBS, there's a new sheriff in town, a new trouble in Vegas. Don't miss TV's number one news show, Vegas. Tuesday only on CBS. Brings up first and five for the Niners, who have scored a 43-yard touchdown pass to Williams, 28-yard touchdown pass to Crabtree, and a one-yard touchdown lead by Gore. Set up on a 15-yard run by Kaepernick. First and five. This run right there by Bruce Miller. He's the fullback. He's out of Central Florida. Second-year player grinds his way for eight. And they'll put the ball for 31. Talk about grinding. That's the kind of player that Coach Harbaugh wants on his team. You know, we talked to Coach Harbaugh. He played for Bo Schimbeckler at the University of Michigan. He says, you know, I, I learned a lot of my values that I feel about football from Bo Schimbeckler. Right? The value of hard work, a respect for the game. You know, he asked a lot of his players, but they're willing to give it particularly when you've had the kind of results that they've had so far since Coach Harbaugh has come to town. Running back under here at the bottom of your screen on the first and ten. Smith. Manningham, the New York Giant Super Bowl star. Out of bounds he goes. A pickup of seven on the play. Cersei was back there. Harbaugh also uh, said that, uh, you know, the one thing he learned from Bo Schembechler is how Shen Beckler was able to force his personality on his team and how his team would navigate that, how they would deal with that. But it was always team, team, team. Yeah, it, our Dan Deardorff, who, who played for Bo at the University of Michigan, talks about that. It's, it is about the team. And many of the players have embraced it. And, and they're just a really close group. And you can tell the way they play on Sunday. Second down and three. This is Gore. 
Good block by Staley. Gore is off to the races. And tackled on the play by Nigel Bradham. A 17-yard run. He's to the 45 of Buffalo. A first down for San Francisco. You know, they will punch you in the mouth. Starts up front with the offensive line. Block down here. And then look. Coming off right there. Just really good timing and execution up front with their front five offensive line. They will bloody your nose. They will hammer you. And then when Frank Gore gets rolling, well, this could be a difficult team to stop. You can see 16 plays at 10 yards or more so far for this 49ers off. Two tight ends. First down and 10. Moss at the bottom of your screen. He wants to go deep. They're looking for Moss, and it was caught on the play. Grabbed by Randy. He was covered by Terrence McGee. Right on the numbers at the 34-11 yard pickup and a first down. Oh, we're seeing the rebirth of Alex Smith. He's gone down the field for big time throws, whether it's to the tight end Vernon Davis, whether it's outside to Kyle Williams for a 43 yard touchdown, or another touchdown to Michael Crabtree. He's pushing the ball down the field. He's scoring with great accuracy. Starts with the protection up front, but anytime you can have a two dimensional offense, to put up these kind of passes. Presented by the high, highly right. decorated Randy Moss. 35 years of age. Didn't play last year in the NFL. First and 10. Gore with the block. Time for Smith. Incomplete. The pressure was coming up the middle. The Shepard coming up. Yes, he was. Barnett was in the vicinity, but the Shepard, who is out of LSU in his third year, put the pressure on the QB. Alex Smith not going to take a hit. He sees him. Coming at him, he look, throw the ball away. Bad things happen when quarterbacks hold on to the football. You don't take that hit from a linebacker. Simply get rid of it. Drive started back at the six. Miller had an eight-yard run. Gore had a 17-yard run. Moss just caught one for 11. Getting back at the six-yard line, second down and 10. Dixon, Anthony Dixon is in. A Staley block, a Griffin block, and he's down to the 25. Running rough shot over the team. Kyle Williams coming over from the middle of the defensive line. A gain of nine for San Francisco. Boy, and Dixon, he runs it the way Coach Harbaugh wants it. And he wasn't waiting on anything. You throw a block, look at him. Watch how he just rams right into the defense. Tries to take it to George Williams. Yeah, they've got every runner who carries the ball brings a certain physicality to the play. Yeah, we know about Frank Gore. We've seen Hunter do it. And we've seen now Miller and Dixon do it. Third down one. Gore is in the backfield with his defensive lineman and a quick timeout taken by Smith. First charge timeout. Part of the jumbo package. They'll talk it over. 116 to play here in the third from San Francisco. The NFL on CBS is sponsored by KFC. Delivered fresh. Prepared fresh with world famous secret recipes. Coming today and taste why fresh is better. A winding street here called Lombard Street. People know it. Lombard Street and Coit Tower. Beautiful views of San Francisco. Better have good breaks, right, Kevin? <laughs> hope, hope for no ice. <laughs> Offer is in as a lead block. They also had offensive linemen in there that include Leonard Davis and Daniel Kilgore. It's a gain of four for Gore. It's a first down, and they'll move the change to the 21 of Buffalo. 49ers keep it interesting. They're bouncing seven different ball carriers carry the ball for Jim Harbaugh's offense. They keep everyone involved. Everyone is excited about this offense. They know they're going to have opportunities. Play calling done by their offense coordinator Greg Roman. When you get that many players involved, everyone is committed to making it work. First down and 10, six minute drive by San Francisco. Smith to Selleck. Garrett Selleck, a rookie free agent out of Michigan State. Took a couple of snaps last week, seeing some time. Picks up four. He's down to the 17 yard line in Buffalo territory. Shane Gailey, and they were saying the one thing that this team had to just have a resounding feel for was assignment football, and it's gotten away from them today. A interception thrown moments ago by Ryan Fitzpatrick. We said at the beginning of the game that Ryan Fitzpatrick could not come in here and throw interceptions. He threw a costly one on the last possession, and now the 49ers knocking on the door for more points. We go to the fourth. You're watching the NFL on CBS, the home of Super Bowl 47.
San Francisco as we start the fourth quarter with a second down and six. Twelfth play of the drive. They held it for the final seven minutes of the third quarter. Kaepernick is in the game. Nice 15-yard run to set up a touchdown earlier on. Manningham in the backfield. Gore gets the handoff. And slithers his way to the 10. Has the first down. Picks up seven. It will be first and goal to go, San Francisco. I oh, just love those quick inside trap hitting plays. And you've got to be ready for the blockers coming in at all angles. There's the trapper right there. And they run right behind 74 Staley. And what that does, it keeps your defensive lineman from just firing up the field. If you're going to get whammed right in the ear hole by that trap blocker, it slows you down a little bit and sort of you know, slows down the penetration where your offense can make a few more plays. Which Smith is back in. How good is the left side of that San Francisco line? Left side has been terrific. First and goal. Back by Davis, the right tackle wide open. Manningham beating Williams. Ten-yard touchdown pass. Boy, if Mario Manningham is selling routes, then I'm buying him. Because he certainly sold Aaron Williams on the inside move as he breaks back out. Williams not even close. Look, uh, right there. <laughs> That's just an excellent route being ran by the talented wide receiver who helped the Giants win a Super Bowl one year ago. Aaron Manningham had an end around for 28 yards last week against the Jets. Came here after what was as dramatic a Super Bowl catch as we've seen lately against the New England Patriots. Akers will Put one through and make it 31 to 3 San Francisco. 14-12 in the game. Another blowout. The Bills are staggering. And San Francisco is hovering over their fourth win of the year. Three touchdown passes today for number 11 right there. Went as uh, Solomon was talking about earlier. The pitching guru Tom House has a little get together down in Los Angeles. Shoulder maintenance is the big emphasis of that right quarterbacks go down there here's the ensuing kickoff and McKelvin will keep it in the end zone and he said he learned, tries to add a little thing during every offseason he's thrown three TDs a 10 yard to Manningham and a 31-3 lead well as a lot of you know this is the fourth year of the NFL's a crucial catch campaign supporting the American Cancer Society and breast cancer awareness the goal is to raise awareness about annual screenings, especially in women over the age of 40. In addition to players, coaches, and officials wearing pink, the 49ers honored 50 breast cancer survivors today at halftime. Moving moment, and we're moving, thank goodness, in the right direction with regard to battling breast cancer. First and ten after the touchdown pass, and it goes to Stevie Johnson, who has tripped up on the play, and trying to maneuver it's a gain of two Alden Smith was there among a couple trying to move on last week the New England Patriots against this Buffalo defense the the Buffalo defense the second team in NFL history to allow a 300 yard passer two 100 yard receivers and two 100 yard rushers Brady went for 340 today San Francisco two 100 yard receivers Smith is over 100 yards passing and Gore is four yards shy of 100 Wow. Second down and eight. McDonald pushing the pocket. Chandler was the intended receiver. Navarro Bowman broke it up, and Whitner just about scooped it up. What do you think about those numbers against the D of Buffalo the last two weekends? If you need fantasy numbers, you want to take on the Buffalo Bills defense. That's exactly what it's looking like. And, you know, this 49ers team is a good one. You know, the Bills go on the road. They, they begin a two-game road swing on the West Coast starting here in San Francisco they'll leave here and spend the week in the Phoenix Arizona area and Chan Gailey's got to get his team ready to play yet another game they won't get to go back home before playing the Cardinals next week it's Patrick with a third down and eight High for Stevie Johnson, it's incomplete, and the coverage on the play by Brown, it's three and out, and the Bills have got to punt the ball. Well, and both teams have made the, the long travel and playing consecutive games on the opposite coast. It started out with the San Francisco 49ers. Remember they went out east, mm -hmm. and they played, of course, in the midways, went to Minnesota, and they lost that game. 
to the Vikings. They spent the week in Youngstown, Ohio, and then played the Jets, and now the Bills come to San Francisco before going on to Arizona. And Clyde Powell again inside the 24 of the San Francisco 49ers. Flag is thrown, and he was hit on the play, and I think Sanborn was the one to get him the long snapper. There he is, number 65, doing it all, and a flag came up across the way at about the 32-yard line. I'll say one more thing about the travel. Remember, the 49ers went out. They lost that game to the Vikings, stayed in Youngstown, Ohio, regathered themselves in a training camp-like mentality where the closeness of being together for a week helped them to go out and beat the Jets 34 to nothing last week. Let's see if the Bills can gain that closeness and training camp mentality during their week in Phoenix. You know, four times under Harbaugh in four games, San Francisco has come back with the win after a loss, a resilient ball club. Oh, uh, that tells you something about good coaching. Yeah. Coming off that great win, we told you before, they have won 10 of their last 11 regular season games here in San Francisco. There is a new stadium going up here, close to the, in fact, right across the street from the San Francisco 49er complex down outside of San Jose. And we'll be ready in a couple of years. Oh, that's incredible. And they just opened up a new weight room facility. Yes. $1.2 million uh, spent on that facility. And the plaque that hangs out says, as iron sharpens iron, so does one man sharpen another. And, and this is a team that's hitting the weights. They're strong. They're physical. Come back to a facility like that. There were two happy. fouls on the play. Illegal motion. Kicking team, number 36. During the turn, holding. Receiving team number 27. Those fouls all set. We'll replay the down. The NFC West, where San Francisco is, with the emergence of Seattle, a nice win for St. Louis. Arizona began undefeated at 4 1 before their loss against the Rams on Thursday. This might be, it is at least <laughs> emerging as oh, perhaps yeah. <laughs> the best division in football. Everyone used to joke about the NFC West, and coming into week five, the NFC West had more wins in its division than any other division. And we know there's a long history of winning here in the San Francisco area with the 49ers. Jim Harbaugh has brought respect back to this organization. We talked about the new facilities, the new stadium that's set to open up in Santa Clara. Now things are looking up for the 49ers. I will run again. Beauty. Again from the 21 for San Francisco. Boy, then he was clobbered as he was coming to the near side. Looked like, I think, Rodgers may have knocked him off his horse with a big-time hit. A great day for Alex Smith and his 49er offense. The NFL on CBS is sponsored by Viagra. The Samsung Galaxy Note 10.1 with S Pen. Note the new way. And by the new 2013 Ford F-150 with EcoBoost. Ah, the beautiful Golden Gate Bridge. How about that right there? What they've done, 65-3 last two games, 34 zip last week against the Giant the Jets. The New York Jets at the Meadowlands on the other side, Buffalo in seven plus quarters has given up 83 points Kaepernick is in in motion handoff on first and ten to Gore he goes over 100 yards chugging his way up the middle grabbed by George Wilson he's up to the 43 and close to a 10 yard gain and tonight on CBS get into the most entertaining epic adventure on television catch a new episode of the Emmy Award winning Amazing Race that's tonight only on CBS he gets the first down, so Gore is over 100. Two 100-yard receivers. The quarterback is over 300 yards. Alex Smith with three touchdown passes today. First and ten. Hunter in the backfield. Nice block. They get outside. Hunter cuts the corner. Brought down by the rookie, Nigel Bradham. That is an 11-yard run. He's down to the Buffalo 46, and that is a first down for San Francisco. Right now, Chan Gailey's got to be wondering about his defense. They've now given up 
over 500 yards of total offense for two consecutive weeks. The Patriots ripped them for 580, and now the 49ers have racked up over 500 yards in total offense. This defense is getting gashed, and the players are just too good. I mean, you've got some really good football players on that side of the ball who are not executing at a high level. Here's Kendrick Walker on the move. Good play action. They're looking for Walker. He's being chased by Mario Williams and out of bounds. That ball flies. Williams with the pressure. You know, when Williams was signed, Solomon, they also got Mark Anderson. Expectations were very high entering the season. In fact, close observers said not since the days of blood so had they been so high with this team. In fact, our colleague Steve Tasker said he expects the Bills to make the playoffs this year. I spent time during the mini camp, part of the spring, with the Buffalo Bills, and I looked at this defense, and I watched Dave Wanstatt work with him, and I came away saying I was convinced that this was going to be one of the best defenses in the National Football League. Kyle Williams, excellent player. Marcel Darius, Mario Williams, Mark Anderson. No way you could tell me this defense would give up over 500 yards to the offense in two consecutive games. Arrington and Kelsey now on that line. Second down and 10. Smith hit as he threw. Goes deep this time, looking for Vernon. Davis, it's an incomplete pass, and he was followed on the play by the rookie, the linebacker, Bradham. Yeah, the Buffalo Bills, look at the changes in terms of all the starters and the players they've acquired. The first-round pick at cornerback and Stephon Gilmore. And Aaron Williams already given up two touchdowns. He's a former first-round pick, or I should say second-round pick in the 2011 draft. And Kelvin Shepard, Nick Barnett acquired free agents and high draft picks to try to improve his defense over the last two years and it just has not come together third down and ten five defensive backs smith running he's got to get to the 36 He'll be a little bit shy brought down from behind by carrington spencer johnson was inactive today with an injury an ankle injury it's a scramble of eight and a Buffalo player is down. How about Alex Smith? He's playing with a little spunk, isn't he? A tough kid. He's gone through a lot, and it's really nice to see him start to experience some really good things playing quarterback for this football team. Aaron Williams is the one who's down. You know, we talked to him on Friday, and as you know, I do the Green Bay Packers preseason, so I get to know a little bit about Aaron Rodgers, who's That's from right. this area. Mm -hmm. there, there is a lot of similarity in the personality and the look of these two guys now the, the arm i'm not talking just the physical i'm just mm -hmm. talking about mannerisms and things like that but there's there's a lot of rogers and smith or, or vice versa i think where the similarities are that both players have had to go through a lot to taste success and i think aaron Rodgers experienced it early in his time there in green bay and you know nothing was given to him he had to earn it and no one is probably as you look take a look at aaron williams come off the field no one has gone through maybe more than what alex smith has had to endure with all the coaching changes, all the changes in offensive coordinators and systems that he has endured. We talked about the 500 yards that this defense has given up in consecutive weeks. It's the first time it's happened in franchise. Rodgers takes Williams' place, fourth down and two. Look at this. The quarterback's going to get the first down and more as Gilmore will stop him at about the 21. Naked bootleg run, 17-yard game move the chain, San Francisco first down. Oh, this defense, they're just not following the rules. In man on the line of scrimmage. You have to stay home if you're Bradham, number 53, the linebacker. He goes sniffing around inside, allows the quarterback to get outside. And we've seen Alex Smith do this in the playoff game against the New Orleans Saints to bring their back in advance in the playoffs. Kaepernick is in. That was a career-high... 49er yard run for Smith of 17 yards. Kaepernick. Smith doesn't want to come out of the game. No. Didn't you see him talking to his coach like, hey, it was just a run. I'm okay. He's having a, <laughs> he's having a terrific day, and Kaepernick's going to have to call a timeout. Only uh, in his second year. We'll talk more about this kid because he's been a developing story in offense for the 49ers. San Francisco with one timeout, Buffalo with three. That is our score here in the fourth quarter. Ten to play, and here we've got Colin Kaepernick as the quarterback. First down and ten. And we got somebody moving. That was Mario Williams, or is, was he induced by the right tackle, Anthony Davis, a former number one pick? Neutral zone infraction. Defense, number 93. Five-yard penalty. Still first down. Well, he comes in sometimes in that wild cap. <laughs> Offense, not the wildcat. He is the only 
quarterback in college football history to run for over 4,000 yards and pass for over 10,000 yards, and the Niners traded up to get this kid. Very prolific. Not just throwing the football, running it as well during his days at Nevada. First down and five. First down and five yards to go after the penalty, and it's a run by Kaepernick, the 10, the 5, he's in for a touchdown, he was not brought down by Anderson, who let him slip right through and a burst of 16 yards, and a touchdown for Kaepernick, who had a touchdown run of 7 yards last week against the Jets. And this is not just pouring it on, this is just the 49ers working their offense, giving it the backup quarterback, they bring him in the game, allow him to work with the Wildcat, you see the option there, you can see Anderson giving chase. If you're the end man of the line of scrimmage, your job is to have a quarterback, force him to pitch it. Anderson allows Kaepernick to get outside and run in for a touchdown. Fourth consecutive drive with a touchdown for San Francisco. The numbers piling up. Akers will tack on one more. 38-3, to and the Bills have given up 90 points in a little over seven quarters. Kaepernick, the angular quarterback out of Nevada, to the house. The NFL on CBS is sponsored by Subway Restaurants. Try the new Tuscan Chicken Melt today. And by one and one My Website, where creating a business website is easy. Well, New England scored 45 in the second half on the Buffalo Bills last week, and now they get 38 through the game here tonight. And for those of you expecting to see 60 Minutes, you're watching the NFL on CBS in the game between the Buffalo Bills and the San Francisco 49ers. Kevin Harlan with Salmon Wilcott. 60 Minutes will be seen in its entirety immediately after the game. Except on the West Coast, where it'll be seen at its normal time. Kickoff after a 16-yard touchdown run by Kaepernick, who's had two rushing touchdowns in two weeks. Out of bounds and over the head of Smith to the 20-yard line, first and 10. So you see that right there, going back to November of 1961. John Brody was the quarterback. C.R. Roberts was the running back. And the, the recently deceased R.C. Owens and Aaron Thomas were the receivers. 1961. Niners have always been known for having offense. <laughs> Go back to Joda, Jet Perry, Y.A. Tittle played here. Talk about R.C. Owens. Not to mention uh, Montana and Young. Here is a handoff on first and ten. Fred Jackson brought down by C.J. Spillman, the ex-charger. It is a gain of three to the 22. All right, you just got that. Now here's, here's something else. How about the Bills and what they've allowed? <laughs> you got to go back to the New York Yanks. <laughs> okay. Pro football since they've allowed 550 yards or more consecutive weeks for their opponents total offense that's yeah that's that's reaching maybe an all-time low right now for the buffalo Bills. second down long seven from just outside the 22. the bubble screen right there not a lot of maneuverability which was made by johnson loss of a yard in fact back inside the 22. i'm going to say this kevin because we know Chan Gailey could dial up some offense. We know this team came in with the most touchdowns so far through the first four weeks, averaging 28 points a game. And for the 49ers to hold them to only three points, that speaks well to how well the 49ers are on the defensive side of the ball. But I think this overall score speaks to just how good of a football team Coach Harbaugh has here in San Francisco. On defensive backs for San Francisco, third down and eight for Ryan Fitzpatrick out of Harvard. Thurston with the block at the left tackle, and this is Donald Jones, who is uh, pretty slippery, as you can see, and finally brought down by Darcel McBath. Used to play for Denver, fourth year out of Texas Tech. It's a gain of five, and he's up to the 27. they got to punt the ball. Yeah, they're going to keep throwing it, as we said, but this is what the 49ers wanted. They wanted to force the Bills to be one-dimensional, and once... They were able to come out and score on that first possession in the second half. That's all the Bills have been able to do. They haven't attempted to run the football, just dropped back and thrown it on just about every single play. Sean Powell will punt to 
again. Ted Ginn Jr. inside his 25-yard line. And a nice tackle right there made by Brad Smith. Eight-yard return and a 50-yard punt next Sunday. The NFL on CBS highlights regional matchups, including the Colts at the Jets, the Raiders against the Falcons, the Patriots taking on the Seahawks. Check local listings beginning with J.B. Dan, Coach Shannon, and Boomer Esiason on the NFL today, presented by Southwest Airlines. We're going to get on a plane after the game tonight and fly all night to New York, and Boomer and I will have Monday night football on radio for you tomorrow night. The Jets and the Houston Texans and other tough team undefeated Houston oh the Jets better wake up out of that slumber real quickly Kaepernick will be the quarterback the fullback is the defensive lineman will to off it's down in check Selleck was in motion Kendall Hunter knifing through brought down on the play by Bird again a gain of five we already told you the 49ers offense has exploded for over 500 yards total offense how about the big pass played down the field to Vernon Davis 43 yard touchdown pass to Kyle Williams and Alex Smith continued to go down the field this one touchdown to Michael Crabtree and then the big time run by Frank Gore they've had seven plays of 20 yards or more this offense has scored touchdowns on four consecutive drives 300 yard passer 100 yard rush with two receivers going over 100 yards catching the ball today. Just ultimate explosion by this 49ers off. Kaepernick on second down and five. Here comes Scott chasing and out of bounds he goes. Scott played a lot last week as they stayed in the nickel against the New York, uh, the, uh, the New England Patriots. That's a two yard gain right there. We were talking before about schedules and now Buffalo's going to fly down to Arizona after this and spend the week there getting ready for the Cardinal game. For San Francisco, they have one road game the next seven weeks, and that does include the bye. So they're going to get a lot of time at home in San Francisco as you see what's coming up for the Bills. Well, the Bills only have, what, about one home game against Tennessee in the next six weeks? They're down in three. Kaepernick. Kyle Williams, who caught a touchdown pass earlier in the game, covered by McGee. Seven-yard pickup. 49ers just continue to roll along under their head coach Jim Harbaugh with games coming up against the Giants again with Seattle then at Arizona they've got to buy those games against the Rams the Bears you know this NFC West is going to be interesting it may come down to the final month before we have any idea who's going to win the division last year about this time the NFC West was 5 and 13 this year before Thursday 12 and 6 even through and defense seems to be the calling card out of the handoff right there comes hunter he was led up there and kilgore now playing on the line led the way on a gain of six as we take you to new york and james denver capitalizing on brady being sacked on fourth down yeah man right here five yards to brandon stokely and 31 21 643 to go is it too late we'll find out still a ways to go let's head back to San Francisco. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Peyton Manning can bring his team back at <laughs> Gillette Stadium today. I I'm telling you right now, he's going to catch a lot of eyeballs. Everyone will be paying attention. Second down and four in the pistol. Big hole. Hunter with a block from Williams. And a missed tackle in the secondary. That was Cersei who could not bring him down. Hunter with an explosive run. The second year player out of Oklahoma State. Bursting for 26 and a first down. It's just a good read. If the defensive end comes up the field, what do you do? You just hand it off. And that's exactly what happened. It was Scott who was on the end of the line of scrimmage. He went to get the quarterback. And Kaepernick rightfully handed it off to Hunter. And Hunter knew how to hit the hole. Good blocking up front again by this offensive line, who I think gets most of the credit for the nearly 600-yard total offense for the 49ers today. This is a nightmare for the defense we, of we the said, Buffalo Bills. We said they were a heavyweight. Mm. I, I think they've landed the knockout block, wouldn't you say? Well, Hunter has 70 yards, and here's his ninth carry today, and he's down to the 20 on a gain of three, so he's up to 73. We know the Gore is over 100, and what would happen if we'd have... Williams and then Hunter gain that kind of yardage 
And then for two consecutive weeks, give up two 100-yard uh -oh. rushers, two 100-yard yeah. receivers, and a 300-yard pass. Haven't played on the defensive side of the ball in this mm. league. That's not good. No way. I don't think I've ever seen it. I mean, I don't know if it, we got our guys working down in the truck. And I don't know that it's ever happened before. You just made them go to that. <laughs> I've got, now I've got to find out. Second down and seven. Hunter slipping and sliding his way inside the 15-yard line. Before he is brought down by Brian Scott among a couple and a gain of six. Also in there with the stop was Wilson. Well, Hunter starting to churn out the yards. And Chan Gailey, head coach of the Bills, said this looks way too familiar. Similarly, similar to what we saw last week. 90 points allowed in the last two games. The 11th time in the National Football League that's happened since 2000. Tampa Bay happened to them last year, and that was just points. We're talking about statistics, and we'll try to dig our way into that before we leave you third and one. And here comes Kendall Hunter again, who had a one-yard touchdown run last week against the Jets. He picks up four, and they'll... Uh, find Anderson who is now hobbling off the field and this is not good Mark Anderson on the defensive line is coming up lame and coming off now the good news for the Bills and there's very little of it after tonight certainly but if there is something you can hang your head on you're you're still only two and three it's, it's not like you're 0 and seven you're two and three and uh, you know, there's a lot of football to be played, but if these last two weeks are any kind of indication of what's coming up or what may be a trend, they're obviously in trouble. And once you get into week five and six of the National Football League, you know, when you talk to many of these teams, they tell you the first few weeks of the regular season, they're still sort of defining who they are and developing an identity. But once you get into week five and six and these critical games, I think your team begins to cement who you are. And... What happened last week against the Patriots and what's happening again today, it's going to be hard for these guys to kind of shake that off and dismiss it as some kind of anomaly. So Anderson is hobbling off. Not a good sign for one of their big free agents signed in the offseason. You know the Mario Williams, who really hasn't made a dent in today, at least statistically, has but got a bad left wrist, and he told he's us been yesterday. this before, Kevin. Yeah, he, oh, he, he has. In 2006, he was the first overall pick in the draft. Got off to a slow start, dealt with some injuries there in Houston. But when it was all said and done, he emerged as one of the top defensive players in the National Football League and fulfilled all the promise that comes with being a first overall pick when he was in Houston. If I'm in Buffalo and I'm a fan of the Bills, I would not give up on Mario Williams. First and ten with Anthony Dixon in the backfield. Kaepernick to Dixon. Going against the grain, grabbed by Darts. Picks up four. He's down to about the eight, maybe the seven. Williams signed that six-year, $100 million contract. Most of it guaranteed. It was the most ever for a defensive lineman. And wow. that is why he's kind of become the center of fans' wrath because the team is struggling and he hasn't put up the numbers. It, to support he that has to concept. bring more production than what we've seen. Two-minute warning. A reminder tonight on CBS begins with 60 Minutes and concerns over a new national security threat, followed by new episodes of The Amazing Race, The Good Wife, and The Mentalist. Only on CBS, second and five, Anthony Dixon bulldozing his way down to the four on a gain of four. And Kelsey coming off the bottom of the pot. So the 49ers will go to four and one and they will have won their last they scored 34 points last week they've scored 38 points today you can see the total yards they have racked up i mean it has been phenomenal franchise record the the, the two consecutive wow. offensive games they've put together that's more yards than what montana rice, rice. steve young y.h yeah. tittle roger craig are you kidding kaepernick with a third and one dixon Upati will lead him in along with Anthony Davis in a three-yard touchdown run. The third rushing touchdown today for San Francisco. And the first by Anthony Dixon. This team is powerful. They're explosive because they're strong. 
at the point of attack. Chan Gailey said it. Their offense and defensive lines is where they are superior. And you can watch them push and move the pile. And then they go out and open up a $1.2 million weight room as if they need to get even stronger, Kevin. 11 to play. Extra point coming up from Akers. And the Bills defense has given up 97 points in over seven quarters, just a little less than eight. Saturday, the Home Depot FCC on CBS brings you the nation's top-ranked team when A.J. McCarron in Alabama rolling to Columbia to take on SEC newcomer Missouri. The action begins with college football today, right here on CBS. Boy, South Carolina had a big win over the Missouri Tigers. I'm sorry, over Georgia, Georgia last night. Yeah. Missouri lost at home to Vanderbilt. And the SEC continues to Georgia. Uh, which was a top 10 team, yeah. as we mentioned, losing to another top 10 team, South Carolina. Florida beat LSU. The old ball coach in yeah. South Carolina has got something cooking. Washington today, big numbers. San Francisco is on a roll. Bills will drop to two and three. And Crabtree, he is a much improved player here in San Francisco. He can continue to play the way that he has. Now Vernon Davis. Randy Moss, and the weapons beginning to come alive in the passing game for the 49ers. You might say this team is even better than they were a year ago. And they were 13 and three a year ago. <laughs> That's scary, and this guy is just a consummate team player. Humble young man as Frank Gore, a hard worker, a tremendously hard runner. Three touchdown passes by Alex Smith. Three rushing touchdowns. One by Gore, one by Cameron, one by Davis. Kickoff by Akers. And Smith on the fly at the 10. Trying to get the corner and trying to stay in bounds. He does a pretty good job at it until Larry Grant, who blocked the punt last week against the Jets, pushes him out of bounds. 28-yard return. So what do you do if you're the Buffalo Bill? You've given up yards and, or just epic over the last couple of weeks. For one, you have to gather yourself and regain your confidence. And you've got to, I think, begin to explore who you're doing it with. And you can't go out and change all your personnel, but you've got to figure out another way to stop people from running the football. And if you're the quarterback Fitzpatrick, you can't turn it over as he's now replaced him again. Here's Tyler Fitzpatrick in this week in practice. He played the role of Colin Kaepernick for the Bills scout team for the running back of quarterback for San Francisco. Here comes Fred Jackson, first and ten. Submarines for four. The 42. Remember Tyler Thickman played in that pistol offense mm -hmm. coming out of Coastal Carolina, played for Chan Gailey, who was the offense coordinator in Kansas City when Thickman had some success there at the pro level. Second down and six. This may surprise some of you, but we're going to take you immediately to Foxborough for the Broncos and the New England Patriots. A tackle again made by Larry Grant and a run by Jackson. Some shoving after the play and some frustration for the Buffalo Bills. The 49er defense does not allow a touchdown for the second consecutive week. We've talked so much offense. What about the defense? Spectacular again. They've given up three points in two straight games. For Solomon Wilcox, Kevin Harlan saying so long. You've been watching the NFL on CBS, home of Super Bowl 47. Let's take you to New York and James Brown.